Hey, hey, it's gadget class time. Today we're looking at the eye gauging angle cube. This is actually a fully standalone digital level as well as a bevel gauge. It can allow you to measure two angles in reference to another or measure true level. Pretty great device all around. Uh, eye gauging kind of brought this um, product to the market. They're the market leader on this product and they do it right. Inside the box, you get your uh, carrying case, help to keep it protected uh, in the tool bag or in the shop. And you get your angle cube itself. There's a uh, full metal bodied solid square. Uh, really solid, designed to take the abuse of the job site or the shop environment. Pretty robust. It's got magnets on three different sides, so you can stick it to a bandsaw blade, stick it to a table shop or a table saw blade, uh, stick it to a fence post. You can actually stick it to a metal straight edge and turn a metal straight edge into a digital level. Also in the box, they give you the color instruction manual that includes instructions to recalibrate it if you should ever happen to drop it or screw up the calibration. And they give you a little screwdriver. And that little screwdriver is to take off the back door. Uh, the battery is behind the screwed on door. The reason they use screws is to make it a more solid design. It might be a minor inconvenience to have to put the 9 volt battery in there, but it is a 9 volt battery, so it is going to last a while. Um, so four screws, take it out, put the battery in, screw it back on, and you're good to go for a while. Uh, really makes it a solid, robust design. Uh, you don't feel like you're going you're gonna to break it just by looking at it. Uh, so to really put that through its paces today, I'm, I'm going to bring out another eye gauging product. This is their eye gauging digital protractor. Um, and like the angle cube, uh, they both have um, resolution down to the 50 thousandths of a degree or 0 0.05 degrees. Um, you can see there, 0 0.05 degrees. Um, I think the rated accuracy is like 0.2 degrees, um, but the resolution is much less. So they, they are really, uh, really accurate devices. And if you compare it to, uh, you know, the standard bubble suspended in liquid, you know, between two lines, you know, the device we've been using to level, uh, pretty much everything since, uh, since we started building stuff, um, there really is room for improvement. And that's where the angle cube comes into play. Uh, you can't really get, uh, accuracy down to the 50 thousandths of a degree with a, a bubble level. And in fact, a lot of times you think the bubble is right in between the two lines, but you're really off by a degree or a half a degree. And uh, really, that's, that shouldn't be acceptable in the, the 21st century. So, uh, both devices have a hold button. If you have a, a degree, you want to take it back to your, your paper, your blueprint, or uh, whatever you're working on. You can always hold and come back. Um, and both devices have a zero function, which allows you to measure uh, one angle in reference to another. You can always uh, come to an angle, hit zero, and that becomes your new arbitrary uh, level plane. Same thing here. Um, if you're at 10 degrees and you want to hit zero, then you can measure degrees in relationship to another degree. Um, but for our testing, we're going to keep it at true zero, for the protractor anyways. What I've done here is I've put a, a line on a piece of scotch tape there on my desk. And my desk is not level. Um, not level at all. We need to reset this back to true zero. You can see right on our line there, we're about 0.9 degrees. So it's almost a full degree off. And if we rotate this in the least, it changes the level. So for my testing here, I've got to keep everything right on that line and right in the same plane in order for the test to be accurate. Uh, so kind of bear with me, it takes some doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the, the digital protractor, we're going to set it on our reference line, and we're going to make sure it's at zero, make sure it's flat, good to go there, and we're going to zero, so protractor is zeroed out, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and stick our our angle cube on there. And we're going to zero that as well. So this is going to become our new zero, or our new arbitrary level plane. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch the two displays as I change the angle. We're going to see just how close they are. 
the protractor is going to be the most accurate because it's measuring in reference to its own uh, its own plane. It's measuring in relationship to true zero, whereas the angle cube is using um, its own sensors to measure angle in re relationship to our set angle. So it's it's measuring based off an arbitrary value, whereas the protractor it's it's on the plane. It knows where it's at. All right. So let me separate it. That takes a bit to get the magnet magnetic force. All right. <laughs> kind of hard to hold this all in the same plane for the testing, but I'm going to do my best here. So you're going to watch watch the two displays as I move it. You're going to see how closely they follow each other. Keep in mind that the the protractor can measure much faster because it knows exactly where it is, whereas the angle cube takes a little bit longer because it's it's measuring in relationship to its sensors. Let's come up here to 15 degrees. And make sure we're all in the same plane there. Right on the line. And come back up to 15. Micro movements here. All right, so there's 15. So we're within 50 thousandths of a degree there. That's pretty impressive. That's not even a tenth of a degree. Let's, uh, let's come back up here to 20. Micro movements. Yeah, I get it. Twenty point three. Oh, going fast. <laughs> All right. Keep in mind that uh, any any little bit of movement can actually throw the whole thing off. So. A lot of this is actually user error. So right there we're within uh, 0.1 degree. That's pretty damn impressive. Um, that's a tenth of, of a degree. Not even one degree. So let's uh, come up here to 25. Yeah, I think I moved it. That one's not so accurate, but I think I'm holding it wrong. Yeah, there we go. So 25.4, 25.3. So that's in, within a tenth of a degree. Let's come back here where I can hold it better. Let's go back down to 10. Well, you get the idea. You can tell it's pretty much right on par. Um, or within a tenth of a degree. So that means that the angle cube is actually doing a pretty good job. It's measuring angle using its sensors in relationship to an arbitrary value that we set in comparison to a completely accurate um, set protractor. So that's pretty good. That means it's going to be right on par when you're hanging your uh, flat screen TV or when you're uh, leveling your concrete surface or getting your bandsaw blade just right. Uh, so I would recommend this product. Uh, pretty great device and I would actually recommend both of them together. They actually make a good companion, especially for setting your, your saw bevels and uh, setting your saw blade angles. Um, really two products that kind of go hand in hand. Great products all around. You know, the 4 inch version and the 10 inch version. Uh, 10 inch version works great for uh, setting your, your bevel guides on your saws, whereas the small version works great for the saw blades themselves. And uh, then you got the angle cube for doing uh, tabletop in relationship to the saw blade, that sort of thing. So stay tuned for uh, some real world testing. I'm going to 
put these on some actual saws and uh, show you how they work in a real shop environment.